Welcome to the show, Mr. Trump. Thank you very much, Meredith. I'm a big fan of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, but let me just say that if I really wanted to be a millionaire, I'd just burn half my money because I'm already a billionaire. That's billion with a B. Now, as we all saw on last week's show, Joe Biden, your competition for the next president of the United States, failed to get past the very first question when he incorrectly guessed what the A in USA stands for. That means that all you have to do tonight, Mr. Trump, is to answer the first question correctly, and you'll have proved that you're the more mentally capable candidate. That's true, Meredith. I look forward to showing you and all of the fine people watching at home what a high IQ presidential candidate looks like. I have such a high IQ. You know, some say maybe even the highest ever. And what I think is even maybe more important is that if I win tonight, I'll be able to use the million dollars in prize money to pay off 0.12% of the money I've been sued for. Well, all right then, Mr. Trump. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, here we go. Question one for $100. Like I always say, our first question is usually very simple and straightforward, so you shouldn't have any problems here, Donald. Thank you, Meredith. Which of these mathematical structures is used to describe the quantum state space of a system of indistinguishable fermions? A, Hilbert space, B, Banach space, C, Fox space, or D, Clifford algebra? This is the first question. Yes. And this is the easiest question that I'll be getting all night. That's how the show works. So the answer to this question is like common knowledge. I mean, it's pretty basic quantum theory, Mr. Trump. The words basic and quantum theory don't really go together, Meredith. Luckily, I have just the right guy to call. He goes by the name of Elon Musk. Maybe you've heard of him. All right. Where's Elon calling from, Mr. Trump? As long as he has the right answer, he could be calling from Mars for all I care. Okay, we have Elon on the line now, Mr. Trump. You will have 30 seconds and your time starts now. Elon, which of these mathematical structures is used to describe the quantum state space of a system of indistinguishable fermions? A, Hilbert space, B, Banach space, C, Fox space, or D, Clifford Algebra. Just, just, just give me a second. I'm waiting for my neural link to finish downloading the answer into my brain. Okay, yeah, so the answer is... Ooh, bad luck, Donald. Your time just ran out. Meredith, what the hell are you talking about? There was at least five seconds on that clock. No, no. Our fact-checkers have confirmed that your time did in fact run out. Meredith, you can't do that. Kinda just did though, so... All right, let me just... let me ask the audience. Okay, audience members, pick up your keypads and vote now. This may take a little longer than usual this week, as we're partnering with a charity who will be sending in mail-in audience votes. Mail-in audience votes? Do I at least get to know the charity? The Ohio Center for the Mentally Disabled. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ooh, looks like no clear winner there, doll. The disabled mail-in votes may have skewed that a little bit. You think? All right, give me the 50-50. Certainly. Computer, take away two wrong answers and leave Donald with the correct answer and one remaining wrong answer. Oh, come on. Uh, this is so totally rigged. You have no peer-reviewed evidence to support that claim, Mr. Trump. That's because it just fucking happened. I might as well just take a guess. All right, C, final answer. Donald, you had zero dollars. And I'm afraid you still have zero dollars. It's the wrong answer. It is, of course, B, Fox Space. You just switched those answers. What answers? The ones on the screen. No, we didn't. Meredith, what are you talking about? C was B. I had the right answer. You know, Mr. Trump, mixing up past events is a hallmark of cognitive decline. Your ramblings will only seek to diminish the public's opinion of you further. Meredith, you and your showrunners, you should be ashamed of yourselves. This is a total con job. 
You are fake game show. Mr. Trump, I am not going to allow you to keep spreading misinformation and conspiracy theories on air like this. I think the main point audiences can take away from tonight is that Joe Biden is at least equal to you in terms of cognitive function, perhaps even maybe a little ahead as you have to give him some bonus points for guessing Israel. Now, before we go, I'd like to once again thank the Ohio Center for the Mentally Disabled for providing us with the mail-in audience votes this evening. And I'd also like to thank the George Soros Foundation for providing tonight's questions. Good night. <laughs>